Yo, what's up guys? This is your boy Chima again, aka X Chima on Xbox Live, aka School and Swizzy on my hoes working that corner every night on Crenshaw Boulevard. Just kidding. Oh, he says, Swizzy says Angro Street, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know where the fuck that is. That must be some ghetto ass motherfucking ghetto ass place. But, anyways, alright. So, so far, you've been learning how to do background, like put the characters in the background. You've been learning how to get fonts. Been learning uh, how to make fonts, like effects and stuff, effects on the characters. Now, I'm going to show you more effects on the font and character of uh, transparent reflections and stuff like that, okay? So, this is how we gonna start this thing off, alright? Alright, first grab your logo from the internet, whatever logo you want, and as you can see, I've chosen the Gears of War logo, and I've already made a path. Now, to make paths, just go back and look at my tutorial number one, because I don't feel like talking about that right now. So, I don't feel like doing it either, because it takes a long-ass time, but as you can see, I already did it, so it doesn't even matter. Alright? So, yeah, make your path so we can get ready for, you know, the logo part of this tutorial. Yoo-hoo! Yay! Fucking hippie! But, yeah. Alright. Alright, so now we prepared, alright? So, uh... This is how we're going to start it off. We're going to start it off by duplicating the layer. So all you do is just click the character layer thingy and right click it. Right click it and just hit duplicate layer. And this one is a little bit different because I want the transparent reflection to be behind him. So this will be the one that's be in front of him. So put real... Dom or whatever and press OK. Now there should be a real Dom. Now if to just to make sure, just go to your move tool and move it left and right if it's really duplicated. Yes, it is duplicated. Alright, so move it back. The hell, why is it really laggy? Right, there you go. Now that's back there. Go to your first layer, right? Then what I want you to do is go all the way up, and this is really fucking simple. Go to edit, go to transform, not free transform, little boys and girls. Transform, and go to horizontal. That means left and right. Yeah, I think you already know that, but whatever. Okay, flip horizontal. And as you can see, the image behind them was flipped, right? So now what I want to do is create a transparent reflection of this, right? So, I think I'm going to make the real DOM a little bit smaller. Alright, so go to your real DOM tab. Go to edit. Now go to free transform, okay? Free transform. Now just make this a little bit smaller, mate. Just a little bit smaller. A little bit more. Don't want them looking short and fat. There you go. Now, okay. <sighs> Nothing like making Photoshop pictures. Go to your first layer. I mean, go to the layer one character. Oh, hit enter after you're done free transforming. Now go to your uh, layer one character. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move it a little bit to the right like that. Then you see his gun sticking out. See, I already cut off that part so I don't have to deal with it. But as you see, his gun is sticking out a little bit. So all we got to do is this. Just erase it. Nothing big, nothing fancy. Be careful not to hit the real Dom's uh, arms. And if you do, you already know what to do. Clone stamp. Clone stamp, yes. We talked about that before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my other tutorial, you noobs. But yeah. All right. Now that we got that covered, go to that layer one. You gotta keep it there. And now we're just gonna make them transparent. Go to the opacity and put it to be, I don't know, 55. Let's make it 55. Yeah. And put the fill to 73. Ooh, look at me. Now I'm a ghost in the reflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, now go to edit and transform it to how big you ever, how big you want this, whatever, something like that. 
Could be that big, could be, you know, that small. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. But after you make it that big or whatever, just hit enter. Okay. <laughs> now it's been transformed, all right? Now you got a reflection of Dom, of, I don't know, his inner self, outer self, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't know. But okay. Now go to the name. And we'll just do the same thing, all right? Well, actually, I'm going to put the name down there. So we're just going to drag this down. And we think I'm going to put it right there. Right there. That's where I'm going to put it. Now, what you're going to do is go to edit. Same thing as before, yada, yada, yada. Flip. Oh, this time, though, hit flip. Well, actually, like a dumbass as myself, I forgot to duplicate it as usual so duplicate it and yeah excited like school copy whatever and now go now go to edit go to transform go to flip vertical and now move it down boom okay now we're gonna put the opacity to say I don't know 36 38 35 something in that range Go more with 38, 36, that's cool. And the fill to be 65, 66, 67, 65 is cool too. All right. Now you have it looking like that. Now, if you want to get really more creative with it, go to transform and go to warp. This, this thing lets you mess with your taxes make them look fat and round and stuff like that Woo! look at me Woo! yeah I'll make you do that you know that's custom they also they got a whole bunch of other ones that you can do but personally I don't like that so just choose none like that alright so then about the logos I was saying before I minimize this well hold on this thing's acting really retarded right now there you go stupid freaking computer but all right open this up again now hit control C to copy it or you can go to planet renders and get yourself a cog logo or whatever logo like that easy way I guess and paste it right onto your picture now what we're gonna do about those black spots as you know we're gonna use our magic fairy wand <laughs> fairy wand uh oh and then we're just gonna click these black spots but if you just want to leave it as the way it is, it's pretty good. I'm going to say it looks pretty good, you know, with the black spots on the inside. But on the outside, I think I'm going to remove it. So let's erase. There you go. All done. Now deselect. And I. Cool. Now we're going to move it to the side a little bit. Use free transform if you think it's too big enough. I think it's too fat enough. So just move it down, down to size, down to size. There you go. Now apply transformation. Yes, motherfuckers, yes. Go to top left. Stupid mouse. Top left. Then we're just going to bring the opacity to about, I don't know. Let's go with 32. And the fill to be 60 something. Nope, not 60. Too light. 70. Nope. 90. 94. Six points different. Whatever. Don't care. But yeah. Yeah. This is basically the reflection and stuff like that. And we're done. Simple, isn't it? Very, very simple and basic. Very simple and basic. But uh, next tutorial. It ain't over yet. I'm going to show you how to uh, fix this background up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Going to give it a little spice. Because it's even though it is giving a fire off, fire effect, you know, it's not giving that, you know, little badass look. You know, the background is not really giving that badass look, you know. So I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial, all right? So if you got any questions, you know what to do. Hit me up on Xbox Live, Xtrema. Hit me up on AIM, Playboy space x i x so till next time boys and girls 
This is Chima, signing out. Swizzy, I'll see you later on tonight, babe.